Bartlett. Travis Bartlett up there in row number one. They bring it down coming out. Tony Pisa, car number 83. On the number one starting spot, they bring him down off of turn number four. And they bring it down with Greg O'Connor going right to the number one spot. Josh Sikolik riding in the number two position. Josh has been his second many nights here. He'd like to go up to the number one spot, and he hammers it going down the back straightaway. Down into turn number three, working off of four, turn four. It's O'Connor up there in the number one position, but bringing him down here in front straightaway, Sikolik, and then Tony Pisa, who started on the pole. Tony rides in the number three spot. Tony gets up wide, and here comes Latula. Dave Latula on the bottom part of the speedway. He free trains down onto the inside. Leaders bring it around this time around. The signal coming down from Bernie Finnegan. Five laps to go. It's still anybody's race. Your third place running car, Brad Haynes, car number 88, is one of the fastest out there on the speedway right now. This a race going down in between turns number three and four, off of turn four. Coming down that front straightaway with four laps to go. O'Connor, Latula, Haynes, and Anthony. Lazzaro right there in the number four spot. Back there in the number five position, it's Mike Bruce. They're all right together, racing tight, going down into turn number three. Taking a run up onto the outside, Dave Latula. Latula went up to the outside as he entered turn number four to try to get that run. Can't do it. Now they do a little tap on the bumper going down into turn number one. All the cars still right together. Anthony Lasorto back there fourth, Bruce running fifth. Sikolik back in the number six spot. Signal coming down, two laps to go. And Greg O'Connor now has a lap and three quarters to go to win this event here on the final regular night here at the Oswego Speedway. But making a run, Dave Latula down onto the inside. Latula goes up a little bit high. He may lose that position. As Brad Haynes is right there covering that spot. They race going down into turn number one. White flag has been displayed. Who's it going to be? It's going to be a close one. Coming off of turn two, they drag race down the back straightaway. Mike Root takes a look down on the inside of Anthony Lasorto. Top five cars all right together. Checkered flag is out. Greg O'Connor is going to take the win. Dave Latula, Brad Haynes, Anthony Lasorto, Mike Root, Josh Sikolik, Tony Pisa, Dave Cliff. Russell Bartlett will be coming across for the number nine spot. Well, Greg, come on over here. We'll have a word with you. Come on over here to Turning Stone Resort Casino Victory Lane. Greg, better late than never. Last race of the season, and you park it in Victory Lane. It's got to be a good feeling tonight. Yeah, it's definitely a confidence boost going in the Classic here. And the car is definitely the best it's been all year, last uh, year and a half or so. Can't thank my guys enough for busting my ass and getting it done. You had David Latula up right on your tail. Could you feel him there? No, I, I probably watched the monitor more than I should have, and seen he was there. And I actually screwed up a couple times and probably made it even closer than what it should have been. Well, why don't you give us a shout out to all, your, all the guys that give you a hand and all your sponsors. Yeah, uh, all my guys, Brian, Chris, Dad, Jake, Tony, Mom, Crystal, everybody that helps out. Um, you can't do it without my sponsors. Spotify, Lunsky Auto, Rupert's Party Rental, uh, PFG Designs, The Sting, all them guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Congratulations, Greg. Greg O'Connor, victory lane tonight in the SBS. Skips Fish Fry Championship Night. Championship Night with the SBS. And now we'll move over here and we're going to talk to our SBS champion, track champion, Anthony Lacerdo. Anthony, you pretty much dominated the whole season, a bunch of wins. And tonight, you're right here in track champion form. Man, the season we had, this is unreal. I got to thank all these guys. They bust their tabs on these race cars. It's literally like a full time job. I got to thank all these guys, all my sponsors. We couldn't do it without you guys. Let's hear them. Uh, Paul's Big M, JP Jewelers, Castilla Lawn Care, Secret Sealants, Woodchuck Saloon. Uh, we couldn't do it without you guys. Farmers Insurance, Stu, Mark, Zach, Jared, Cass, uh, my Uncle Scott, my grandpa, Linda, all these guys. Bob, I couldn't do it without these guys. Well, you got another race to go up here, and I guess you have a, I think you have a ch uh, ch chance at the track championship for the 350s. That would be pretty cool to bring home two tra championships in one night. Yeah, that would be unreal. It's just a testament to these guys. We we come out here every week with two real fast race cars. So it's not me. It's the team I got behind me. All right. Anthony Lacerdo, guys, your track champion tonight. The SBS division here at Oswego Speedway.
four cars parading down the back straightaway. You'll hear them burst the lights as they go down into turn number three. A small block, fuel injet, uh, carbureted Chevrolets bring them down. A good start coming off of turn four. Kingsley on the bottom side, Dalton Doyle on the outside. Kingsley going on the bottom part, grabbing up that early lead. Doyle right there, second. Duke Billy all the way up to the number three spot. And then Anthony Lasorto dances around on the outside part of the speedway. They're going to come around and complete lap number one. Kingsley up here on the front side. He sets the quick time with an 18-117. Kingsley opens up a lead going down the back straight. A car in trouble going down. It's the OA to Dalton Doyle as he pulls down out of the inside and out of harm's way. We're going to be able to continue. Three laps to go as your leader, Stephen New Philly, in the Shea Concrete Car, comes out of turn four. The signal going down, two laps to go. Kingsley and Lasorto still back there, second and third. I thought Anthony would get a run at him, and again, reels him in going down into turn number one. This time around, White Flag is going to be coming out. New Philly is going to be picking up another feature win. But the battle here right now is for the number two spot. Here is Kingsley and here is Lasorto. White flag has been displayed, your leader, down in between turns number three and four off the fourth corner. The checkered flag is out. The win goes to Stephen DeFilly in the shade concrete car number 11. Who's going to get second? Barry Kingsley brings it off at turn four. He's going to get second. Anthony is back there third. And that's the rundown for the 350 small block super modified. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hopping out of his car, four times feature winner this year, Stephen Dufilly. Come on over here, Stephen, we'll have a quick word. This car knows the way to victory lane. This thing has been a rocket ship all season long. It's your fourth feature win this year. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, it just kind of does it itself. I just fit in it, kind of. But, um, no, it was great. Um, again, my dad and my grandfather helping us out. Uh, Got to thank Shea Concrete and uh, all the guys back at home that help us. Um, this series really is a good thing that's happening here. Um, they're going to get the cars next year. I really think they are. And uh, the guys that have run this year, congratulations to Anthony. I believe he won the championship. Um, you know, they've really picked up the pace since they first started. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with how far they've come. So, uh, you know, it's good to see that everything growing. And uh, I'm sure it's going to come back bigger and stronger next year. We expect you every week next year if you, the class grows? I don't really know what's in store um, for me. But uh, I can assure you, you will have a good feel of Stephen DeFilly, your champion tonight in the 350 Super Modified. Pace truck down low into the rear pit gate entrance. The field goes into the hands of the front row. Eric Iosu and Danny Connors coming down in between three and four. They start to pick up the pace. Winding it up off that fourth corner. Green flag from Bernie Finnegan. And out in front goes the 01 of Connors. Here comes Champagne. Champagne down to the inside. Takes over second. They dice down the back. Shoot Danzer now. Trying to get down to the inside of Iosu. Jams it in there. Could not quite hold on. Here slowed on the outside. The end of lap number one. Danny Connors, the race leader, Keith Champagne. Running at number two spot, it's Iosu third, Dancer, and Slowed rounding out the top five, followed by Shula, Gable, Gould, Thompson, and Ballinger. So Tyler Thompson has already picked up a couple of spots. Danny Connors out in front. Connors out in front of the 55 of Champagne. Here's a battle now, Dancer diving down to the inside of, of the 11 of uh, Eric Iosu. Meanwhile, Gardnerman takes the 78 to the pitch. Passing flag out from Brown. As your race leader is in between Brown and LeVay. Joe Gosick on the charge. Gosick now has moved up behind Tyler Thompson. He is running in seventh and the yellow is out. Allison slow comes to a stop on the front straight. Wow. Ten laps to go. Action all over the place. Keith Champagne is the leader. 
it up, going down the back straight. 55, Champagne out in front. Here comes Abel, goes right to the outside of the 27 of Simmons. Puts him a lap down, Abel on the charge, but he's got two lap cars still between himself and race leader. Keith Champagne, 55, Timmons staying down low, letting everybody go around him on the outside. Abel, meanwhile, trying to catch up with the number 94 of Logan Reynolds. Coming around this time, your race leader is the 55 of Keith Champagne. He started in third. Champagne out in front. 05, Abel is second. Sitterly now on the outside of Barnes. Barnes trying to take over Sitterly, running in the number eight spot. Barnes moved by Bellinger, takes over nine. So the 08 of Michael Barnes started in 22nd. He is now up to nine. Meanwhile, Abel still trying to get by the 94 of Logan Revals and has not been able to find a way. Here comes Dave Danzer down to the inside. Abel on the outside of Revals coming out of turn number four. Finally puts Revals a lap down down the front street. Now he's going to run down the 90 of Jack Patrick. Patrick is the only car now between the race leader and the runner-up. 05, Jeff Abel. Third is 52, Dave Danzer. Whoa, down into the corner down there. The uh, Schulich diving underneath one of the slower cars, as does the 98 of Tyler Thompson. Thompson now continues on the charge as they work on one of the slower cars back there, the 01 of Danny Connors. The early race leader has really dropped off the pace. Here, meanwhile, the new race leader, the 55, of Keith Champagne with six to go. Abel running in second. Dancer is third. Schulich is now fourth. Thompson fills out the top five. Gosick running six. Connors is back to seventh. Then it is Barnes running eighth. Sitterly is in ninth. And Bellinger had been tenth just about the whole race, and he is hanging on to it right now. With uh, five laps to go, your race leader coming down this time. 55, Keith Champagne out in front. Going to be the 11th winner in 12 features if they can just hang on for four more laps. An amazing season. In terms of feature winners here at the Oswego Speedway, 05, Jeff Abel running in the number two spot. Cannot get around the variety of Jack Patrick. Abel running 17-1, your race leader is 16-7. Champagne out in front, pulling away with three to go. Ray Bowles and uh, is in between. Abel and fourth running. The third running, 52 Dave Danzer. Schulick is in fourth. Tyler Thompson rounds out the top five. The two lap time, two to go. 55, Keith Champagne. As we've said so often, it's his to lose. He is out in front unless he makes a horrible mistake. He's got this one. Jeff Abel running in the number two spot. Dave Danzer is in third. Schulich and Thompson rounding out the top five. As the white flag has come out for your race leader, the 55. Keith Champagne. Coming off the corner, Champagne gets the win. Abel is second, Dancer third, Schulich is fourth, Thompson rounds out the top five. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. How about a great hand for Keith Champagne? <laughs> Skips Fish Ride Championship night. So Champagne getting the win here tonight at the Oswego Speedway. 11th different feature winner on the year. Otto Sidderly racks up the uh, track championship in the number seven. I believe this is a record too. I think they've tied the record for most in one season, different winners since 1975. So we'll get a quick word with Keith. And there was a champagne in the in the victory lane back then too. Keith, last week up against the wall, broken finger. This week, you're in victory lane at Oswego Speedway. Yeah, I didn't even know if I could run tonight. I uh, came here, and I was going to take the car out and practice it and see how my finger felt. Uh, I bro you know, broke it last week in that deal, and it hurt all week. I had to go to the doctor twice, and they put a cast on it and everything, and I didn't know if I'd do it, but, you know, racers have uh, raced with a lot worse than this, I'm sure, so... I felt good in practice. Uh, we made a little brace thing for it for it tonight, and felt good in practice. And I said we're we're, we're racing tonight, no no doubt about it. And and um, the car was really good all night. I mean, we had really old tires on in practice, so that didn't tell us much. And we put new tires on. We were loose in qualifying. 
qualified like 13th or something, but I still felt like we had a pretty good car. We tightened it up for the heat, and we were really good in the heat. Just got a bad start and had to pick a couple guys off and get up to our handicap spot and got up there and um, was able to get the third place starting position and then uh, passed Danny down the back going into three. And it took me a while to work on him, and he was running a good race, and I got him into three there. And, and um, that was about it, you know. It, it just got out front, and the lap traffic cooperated. Uh, got through lap traffic pretty good, and uh, I, I knew I'd seen Abald coming up through the through the field, and I've, he's been really good lately, so I was a little concerned about him. Our, my car was getting a little tight. Um, I just, uh, about five to go there, I found a good groove right on the bottom. It had some good bite right on the hub rail through one and two especially. I just kept it down there. I didn't think anyone could go around me. Well, why don't you give us a shout out to all your helpers, your team, your Osetic Racing team here, and all your sponsors. You know, it's been a really tough year. I doubt myself sometimes. I never doubt this team, but um, this is a really good confidence booster. Thanks so much to Chris Osetic, Brian Osetic, my dad, uh, Matt Buskey, my stepdaughter Morgan, my wife Kelly, um, Ed Close and his group from TJ Toyota, Cam's Pizzeria, Ron Dates has come on board this year, our crew guy, he's been a great help all year. Uh, some of DJ's guys, Jim and Sean, they've helped out. Um, DJ Shula has been a great teammate this year, and it's all been uh, its been a good year. Uh, you know, it's been a bad year, actually. I'm just happy to close it out with a win here. Everyone else in the top ten had a win, and other than me, it made me feel kind of lonely. And <laughs> I'm just happy to get one tonight, man. You don't know how good this feels. How much confidence does it give you to go into the Classic running this good? Uh, I, I, definitely a good confidence booster. You know, I'll worry about Classic the next couple weeks. I'll celebrate a little bit tonight. All right, well, go and celebrate with your crew. Keith Champagne, your victory winner tonight. Skip's Fish Fry Championship Night here at Oswego Speedway. Doug Holmes, please report. 2019 to track champion. Otto Sitterly, nine Barnes time track champion. Barnes, Otto, someday. Well, I hear all the time when we talk about the greats at Oswego Speedway, they always mention a bunch of names, and there's always one missing, and he's right here. One of the greatest that's ever been in a super modified here at Oswego Speedway, and now it's your ninth track championship. Yeah, it's a nice thing. Uh, I don't feel that great tonight. Uh, just uh, been a long week. I've been sick for a little over a week, and um, I really got to thank Nakota for racing. Um, this week I didn't work on a race car, and that's probably the first time in 20 years I did not touch a car. And uh, I was in the house sleeping, laying on the couch, trying to get better, and um, I had, I don't know, there's a garage full of guys out there working until midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, and Joe Perry sort of headed him. He was in charge, and... Um, it, it finished the race, so I mean, uh, we were able to do what we needed to do, and um, I can't thank all those guys enough. Does this put a little pep in your step to win a championship tonight? Then you've been sick all week with pneumonia. You broke your thumb. It's got to add a little bit, you know, help you feel a little better. Yeah, a little bit. I'm sure we'll have uh, we'll numb ourselves a little bit over there tonight, but um, yeah, just sort of a, um, you know, I'm not looking down on anything, but just we haven't been that good. We tore it up last week. We were not that good in the feature last week. We were really not very good tonight, so. Um, a, it's a good thing we had a little bit of a lead because I wouldn't have wanted to have raced for it tonight. What do you What do you look forward to now? You got the 200 coming up in a couple of weeks. You go back to the garage and you bust your butt to get back here for that next two weeks from now. Yeah, I'm sort of scratching my head. I'm not sure what we're going to do. <laughs> well, you're going to be back here next year, I'm assuming, to go for number 10. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a long ways, Doug. We got to concentrate on two or three cars for Classic and none. Let the dust settle and we'll try to relax for a few months, and, and then we'll see. I, I never know, really. I really am not just saying that. I have no idea what next year brings. I don't know. Well, the fans here love you. The, you're track champion nine times, and uh, everyone hopes you're back here next year. Otto Sitterly, 2019 track champion, Oswego Speedway. Novellus, the Oswego Speedway Connors track champion. Be up and comer tonight again. Doug Holmes to super modified 68. Doug Holmes to the 68.